everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm mia d as you guys know i am a lash artist so today's video is going to be a day in my life as an at-home lash artist the last time i did this video i was pretty much just starting doing lashes it's almost been a year now so everything is like new and improved like everything is better more efficient so i'm giving you guys a cute little update I only have two clients today. I take three clients max, but today I have two. One, first person is my best friend. She's on her way, she's getting hybrid set, and I have a new client coming in the afternoon. And she's getting a classic set, so you guys get to see both. I'm all set up, so I just gotta go get my coffee. This is a little behind the scenes of what I do pretty much every single day. Everything is all set, everything is ready to go so i'm so excited that you guys get to see my day-to-day -day routine but before we get into this video make sure you guys check out my other lash related videos they will all be linked down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Good morning everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel this video is day in my life as an at-home lash artist um the last time i did one of these videos i was just starting like so everything is everything's different now like everything is upgraded now literally so let me give you guys like a mini tour so i have these wall decals i'll do an official like room tour a little bit later that's more detailed but i'm gonna just show you guys like a little sneak peek for now i have this shelf this is my barometer i need it between 40 and 50 for my glue to work i have all these candles this is the candle i decided to light today it smells so good but honestly it's not really like kicking in yet so i haven't gotten the full effect i have these other bath and body works candles and tj maxx candles and stuff but um they're all <laughs> empty i need to turn them into wax cubes and then i have some i have these lash bath kits with no lash bath in them as of yet i have my business cards fussy lashes and i saw this really cool idea on tiktok where you make samples of the lashes that you offer i obviously offer more than three just styles but i just did three and people like can look at them and see them more close up so this is the shelf that i got this shelf is also from amazon which i will link the shelf is also from amazon this shelf is also from amazon which i will link it's four layers actually five so this is this super cute eyelash um mirror and i got it at marshall's look at this i just noticed that it was broken it's so annoying but look it's so cute and it goes with the aesthetic of the lash room perfectly i feel like someone that wasn't supposed to touch it touched it and now it's messed up but yes this is it and clients like to look at themselves in here but they rarely do it's a cute picture though if you take it like from the side of them looking at themselves my lash cart is all set up. It needs like some deep organization, but everything is there that I need. The bed is all the bed is all together. My seat. Honestly, I want to get a new pillow, a different pillow, and something for people's legs. Cause um, yeah, it would be more comfortable. And then I have my 
ring light, of course. So if you guys know, if you're also a lash artist and you know where to get some good pillows, let me know down below. So we're done. Look at her lashes. They're hybrid. So we have like a couple different lengths in there. So um, 18, the ones I did today, 18, 17 fans, mm -hmm. 15 inner corner, 16 outer corner. But yeah. there's a little bit of 19 fans and 18 fans it's mixed in. About like her fills. Yeah, she's a mixed breed. But um, check her out. Mm -hmm. Miss Naomi T. Grant, beauty purr, big purr, Naomi purr. Look, my lashes look like this. So hers can look like that. Period. Or whatever those mean. Alright, so I just finished setting up for my next client. I'm about to go take my little lunch break. I have about an hour before she comes in and I'll see you guys when she gets here. So I'm done my last client for the day. I feel like I have so much energy. It's kind of early too. It's only um three o'clock, I think. Yeah, it's only three o'clock. So I'm gonna clean up the room and then um, we're gonna close out this vlog. I take my hair out now. Yeah. So I'm sure you guys know I clean up after every client, obviously. But guys. These little lashes, like, get freaking everywhere. But I'm really excited. Um, although she was like a new client, like we got mom really well. She was super nice. Um, one thing about me, one thing about me, like, I love getting, um, like, I love getting clients and like talking to them. Sometimes like they like to just sleep and be quiet. But when my clients like talk to me and they like tell me like different information, especially like if they're a different age range, like a little bit older, they tell you some really important things, like not just, you know, gossip. Like I have some people that I just talk about, um, like I have some people that I just talk about, um, like TV shows, like anything, like just talk. Like if you're worried about it being awkward when you have clients or you don't really know what to say to them or you don't know how to interact with them or you're worried about coming and getting your lashes done, like you really don't have to talk at all. Like some people just go to sleep, which sometimes can be easier for me and sometimes it can be harder because some people like jump in their sleep and stuff. But for me, like I don't really mind either way but sometimes like it can be like a refreshing to just sit and chat and it's not awkward like i was kind of worried when i first started being a lash artist i'm like how am i supposed to deal with like all these people because you never really know who you're gonna get and then in recent months i need to clean this i'm just gonna take it off but in recent months like my clientele has boosted like in the summer I did like a summer sale and you know I've doubled my clientele tripled quadrupled like way more clientele than I was getting the first few months that I was doing lashes and like 
it's not as crazy and scary that I thought it was gonna be like it's literally nothing not only do not only do you like get used to it but it's like enjoyable it's exciting and then the more that you like get to know your clients and stuff like that like you look forward to seeing them and them coming to see you and getting your lashes on and y'all just catch up and you talk because it's really important to build a relationship with your clients which is like one thing that i do like i do provide loyalty cards so the more that they come like they'll get like a 10 percent off and then they'll get a free set eventually like after 10 visits so it's important in that sense you do lashes like if you really want to see a growing increase in revenue it's fills that make money so people you should be encouraging people to come back for fills and keep coming back make them like you make the experience enjoyable make their area comfortable which is why i did like a little decoration for my room got it together honestly but i'm about to clean that i just did like a basic little wipe down sanitation but that's it um maybe i'll show you that's it on the way so i'm gonna have having like a lot of people kind of squeeze in in the next couple of days but i wanted to just show you guys like a typical like low-key busy day for me i got started super early so i'm done super early sometimes i'll do lashes like in the morning and then i have like a whole a space in my day where i don't do lashes again till nighttime um sometimes i have people literally back to back or sometimes i don't even have one client a day like all depends but this is like my favorite kind of day one person small space the next person i'm done i'm fulfilled everyone is satisfied i'm not super tired i'm not worn out anything time management is literally since i've been like faster at doing lashes like you know it's muscle memory like you know i just get it done with like and i take my time i make sure i do pristine work i make sure you like i make sure i like it i make sure i take my pictures my tiktoks all that it's all about self-promotion but that's it for today's video. If you guys want any more tips about what it's like being a lash artist, let me know down below in the comments. Or if you're looking to get your lashes done, let me know. Make sure you check out my lash Instagram at fussy.lashes at fussy.lashes on. Make sure you check out my lash Instagram at fussy.lashes. And that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. And I'll, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.